Hello and welcome to another UMake tutorial. This is the second lesson in the tutorial series on how to make a padlock in UMake. My name is Nico and I want to walk you through how to create the center part that you twist on these combination locks and the loop that is used for locking. So let's dive right into it. Let's go to the side view. We've, we've created this kind of body of the lock in the first lesson and now we're going to create the part that you twist. So let's go to the side view to do that. The first thing that I want to do is just kind of sketch a curve like this. I want to make sure that snap to grid is on and I'm going to tap once on this curve and then edit the point. I want the, this end point to be uh, in the center. So I'm just going to move it over. This is on the, this is on the center axis here. And then I want this end point to kind of be down here underneath this surface just a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I just need to add a couple points and move these points to get the curve that I desire. I'm going to add two curves here on either side of this. Oh. Let's see. Try not to move the curve too much. Just move this back a little bit. There we go. Basically, I just need to edit these points, get kind of a nice angle there. This is going to be pretty straight down. And it'll get to about a point here. Where there will be another transition in direction. I'll pull those in just a little bit. So you have a curve that's kind of like this. This is a little tall for the actual lock. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to use the lasso tool down here, select all of these points up here and just go ahead and move them straight down like that. And then I'll take these points and I'll just move them over a little bit. And that looks about good. That looks about right. Go back to the side view here. And I'm going to select this curve once. Actually, uh, double tap it to select the whole curve. And then I'm going to uh, tap Revolve. And I'll have a revolved uh, shape here. Now, the axis is between the two endpoints of this curve. So I just need to grab this lower one here, drag it down till it's straight, and we have the part that you spin in the middle of the combination lock. I'll just kind of orbit around it. That looks pretty awesome. And so once I'm done with that, tap the green check mark over here, and we are good. So now we have that part. And the next thing that I want to do in this tutorial is quickly create the, uh, the curve that will create the lock. So I'm going to, for this, I'm going to go to, let's see, the front view, I believe. Let's see. Yep. Or I'm going to go back to the side view, actually. And I'm going to tap and hold right about here to create a sketch plane point. And this will allow me to draw the curve in the, on the plane where I need to draw it. So from here, I'm going to go back to the top view and I'm just going to draw a straight line. And again, I'm just going to tap once on, once I'm done with that, tap once on this line and I'll add a couple points really quickly. Make sure that again, this point here is over on the center. We'll uh, bring it up here, make this, this point will come off straight down from this end point here. 
that'll create a nice transition between the, the, the curve on both sides. And then bring this point up, bring this over into the lock somehow, and we'll do one more. We just kind of want to keep these ones in a straight line. Create kind of a nice, even arc shape. Once we're done, we'll just tap done with a green check mark. We have a nice shape for the, for the lock, lock, locking mechanism. And I'll double tap on this. And then I'm going to mirror this over the Z axis. There we go. And you can see that that curve is in the location where I wanted it. I'm going to double tap on both of these actually. And just kind of move them up just a little bit. There we go. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to sketch a circle. It can kind of be anywhere. Um, I'm just going to draw it right here. And I'm just going to bring this circle down to the top view over. And what I want to do with this is essentially just kind of center the circle over this curve. That looks about right. And let's see if the size size looks about right. Oh. Scale this up a little bit. There we go. Perfect. And I'm going to double tap and select this curve and then double tap and select this curve. And I'm going to tap extrude and then a long path. And I will just drag over. And you can see that makes a nice shape there. And once I'm done with that, I'll tap the green check mark. I have my extrusion. And I can go ahead and select this surface and just again mirror it one more time over the Z axis. And there we go. We have our locking part for the lock. So I hope this uh, was helpful. I hope you were able to follow it. If you have any comments or questions for us, feel free to let us know on our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter channels. Uh, for part three, we're going to go ahead and use the array tool here and change some of the materials. Um, so stay tuned for that. Take care, guys.